destroying is finally happening. Project NFL. So I guess he finna try to make a run for the NFL. He finna try to get drafted or whatever it is. But I, all I know is destroying can kick, bro. Destroying can freaking kick. He can kick his butt off, bro. No cap. The kicking, he got that hands down. He can boot the ball from the from goal line to goal line. I feel like. So I feel like he should get a chance. We're gonna see how the grind is. I don't know if the league gonna take him. But hey, if it happened, come back to this video. Remember I said so. For the next 365 days, I'm going dark. At the time of this recording, it's exactly eight hours until my 27th birthday. And that only means one thing. Time's running out. Throughout my entire life, I had the dream of playing in the NFL. I've tried countless times, just fell short. I just never gave it all I had. But this time, I'm hungry. Nah, scratch that. I'm starving. For my legacy, for my family, for my fans. This is Project NFL. Oh yeah, Project NFL! I like it seem perfect from the outside. But on the inside, I feel empty. Oh. I've inspired millions of people around the world. Some people even say they look up to me. But every single day, I look myself in the mirror. I feel like a failure. That kicker, Donald De La Hay, has been ruled ineligible. For what was your reaction when you got that news? Day? How lucrative are these videos? I've known from the first day. Bro, he was really fire, bro. He was really like that kicking, bro. Then he got to get, he had to, uh, he had to quit football because why? He was getting paid from YouTube. He didn't want to drop YouTube. So he just stopped playing. And I know, I, I can tell his dream was always football, bro. Because he's still doing football videos to this day, bro. Just like me. Like, I love football, bro. I love football. I'm not going to lie. I love football. I was really like that. <laughs> I'm still like that. Anytime. Hey, if it's a content thing or football, whatever. Anybody invite me, I'm going to kill, bro. I'm hey, going I to kill the football my freshman year of high school that this game was going to take me very far. Delahaye is one of the top kickers in the area. Changing sports could get Delahaye a shot at the next level. Every single day before football practice, I'd sit on my phone and watch college football highlights and I always visualize myself being in that position. And I worked my ass off, bro. I ended up making my dreams come true by getting a scholarship to play D1 football at the University of Central Florida. And once I got there, of course, I had to set my goals higher. Like every other athlete playing the game, I wanted to make it to the NFL too. While all this was going on, I also developed a love for creating videos. Looking a little clean. And when I wasn't playing football, I spent hours on my creative passion. And eventually after posting a few videos online and blowing up a little bit, I was faced with the biggest obstacle I've ever faced in my life. I had to pick between both of my dreams, YouTube, or football. Wow, what a beautiful day. What's up, Coach? Come on, Delhi. <laughs> what this thing right here mean to you, bro? That's my life, bro. Is it? Basically, I'm ruled ineligible because I refuse to demonetize my videos, something that I've worked so hard for. I figured I'd have other opportunities to play football, but right now I captured lightning in a bottle with my YouTube channel taking off, so I had to pursue. Hey, bro, that's the thing, bro. That's a big risk, bro. That's a big risk he's taking. He can stop football, start YouTube. Don't know how it's going to go, but he can trust in himself, believe in himself, and take that chance and then take off. Or he could take the safer route, which is play football, demonetize his videos. But he chose that, bro, because he believed in himself, bro. He chose to quit football, bro, and focus on content. Like, that's what you call believing in yourself. And that's what I be saying, bro. You got to trust in yourself, bro. To it to its full potential. That was 2017. Now, fast forward seven years later to today. Billions of views and millions of dollars later, I feel like I've accomplished every single thing possible on YouTube. And for a man that has it all, I still feel empty. But now that I've laid all the groundwork and I've kicked down every single door that stood in my way of playing football again, the journey begins now. 
nervous. <laughs> yeah. This is day one. We about to pull up to um, this facility in Tempe, Arizona. There's this guy, Ian. He's a genius. He takes care of a lot of NFL guys, trains them, makes sure they body right, diet, supplements, like everything. Hey, I'm, I'm out front with the door. So I haven't been to PP before, but I heard that a lot of NFL guys train there. People who are built different train there. So I've seen some videos. I see they got a turf. I see they got weights. I'm feeling like it's, I don't know. It's gonna be madness in there. So I'm walking in the building and first off, it's a long hallway as you walk in. I feel like that hallway gives you time to be grateful that you're not in pain right now. Be grateful that you're in the moment. I'm, I'm excited. I'm eager. I'm jittery right now. I'm ready to go. Yo, Yo the jerseys. One day mine's gonna be up there. So I'm walking up to Ian and I say what's up to him. And obviously I've heard a lot of things about Ian. Ian is like a mad scientist. He's one of the smartest guys in this industry. Obviously the man is swole. Golly, bro. As well. so bro be lifting, lifting and eating right. And college coaches, they're all very loud. But I approach Ian and I start talking to him and he's very soft spoken, you know, kind of quiet. So where are you in terms of your ability to like to lock in workouts without traveling? Uh, you like that? You're here for a while? Yeah, there's. I have to go to LA Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, but mm -hmm. I'll be back Tuesday. Probably just like Christmas, maybe yeah. with my family. Yeah, yeah. But I'll figure something out. I got a gym at the crib over there too. Yeah, so. where's your family at? Florida. We're taking this Other than that, we good, man. We locked in. Cool. Poor thing. We're in the middle of nowhere. That's baseball. Middle of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> so as I'm going through this evaluation with Ian, uh, obviously we're starting from ground zero. We're laying the foundation out. We're figuring out where my body is at prior to all this training and all this work. As I'm sitting there warming up and as I'm sitting there going through things, he's just staring at me. I'm confused, I don't know what's going on, but he just got this mysterious look on his face. Just kind of reading me, seeing how my body's moving, how I'm reacting to things. And I know he got a lot of stuff going on in his head. He's computing some crazy mathematics right now, but I know I'm in good hands with the math scientist. Just looking at him, there's a, there are a few things that really stood out. One of the key things with uh, kickers is you've got to be able to stop all your momentum and transfer it into your swing leg really quickly. So he's got some strength issues that I think would, if they improve, would help him with that sort of deceleration process, if you want to use that word. It's just a bunch of scientific terms that I knew where he's coming from and I know what he's trying to say, but obviously he's using a Webster's Dictionary version of the word. Just tell me my shit up, bro. Now, I just want you to do a literally 50% stride. Just nice and easy, nothing crazy. Just lay back and pull one knee up. Relax, let's let go. So obviously we have the mad scientist who's just an absolute genius. He knows everything inside and out, A through Z, of the body now is supposed to work. But also, a superhero is nothing without his helpers and his sidekicks and you know, the rest of the gang. We have Amy, who is an amazing human, amazing individual, very smart as well. She's a yogi, so she knows all about how the body should move, how it should be flexible, how we can get it to be flexible. And I'm gonna tell you, she gonna use whatever means necessary to get your body right. Supposed to hurt or no? This doesn't hurt at all. Okay, it's good now. It's good. I know that stretch hurt, bro. Yeah, it's good, man. Got around this yet. I spoke too early. So today was really just getting this right side, the right leg, more so hip into front side quad, as mobile as we can as a left leg. His left leg being his plant leg is obviously really strong and stable. And the right leg we want to get as much mobility in. So it was a lot of hands, body work, just to kind of see if we can get that towards where the left leg is. Obviously the imbalances are because of his sport and that's really important. But again, if it's really tight like we saw today, we want to make sure that we start to get that right. I was suspecting to come in there day one and just get straight to work, but it was the pre-day one, day one. The real work starts tomorrow, the real waste starts tomorrow, the real pain starts tomorrow. Tomorrow day one? Let's do it. Yeah. Early. All right, let's do it. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. And all this work don't mean nothing if you do what you got to do in the gym, leave, and then you throw everything to the curb. If you're working hard in the gym, but you're messing off and f***ing off at home, it's not worth it. More soda, y'all boys. Gotta kick out the bad habits. I don't drink soda, bro. Soda full of sugar. That's just me, though. If we really want this, we gotta make changes. No more <laughs> I'm at home, I'm getting rid of all my liquor, I'm getting rid of all my junk food, I'm just instilling good habits and not trying to regress. We trying to move forward and um, we got to leave a lot of things in the rear view. As a person who has achieved 
99.999 of my goals. If I set my mind to it and I work towards it, I most of the time accomplish it. And even if I don't, I get up and try again. I had a dream of playing in the NFL. I still have a dream of playing in the NFL. And I think that's been the biggest obstacle in my life. There's a spot missing inside my heart, which is me actually fulfilling this dream of playing professional football. There's always that doubt in the back of your head. Are you good enough? I see people's comments and you know, they say, oh, he got cut from a Canadian football league team. He wasn't even good enough to play in Canada. Maybe I haven't gotten that phone call from a GM or a team because he's a YouTuber, he's an influencer, he's a distraction to the team. I want to show them that <clears throat> I'm fully committed, I'm fully locked in, I'm fully bought in. This is me. You guys are getting the real me. You guys are getting the behind the scenes. Just 100% Donald. It's not even destroying at this point. The real, real deal Donald that wants to play and wants to make it very, very, very badly. That's live, bro. Day one. It's a grind. You gotta come out of here with some attention. <laughs> Make the noise. If you're a screamer, you're a screamer. Well, today he's uh, starting off with some field training. After he gets done with the field training, he's gonna come over to the weight room. We're gonna work on his lower body strength and conditioning. I thought his workout was about to be easy. I looked at the little play sheet he had. Once I got started, but it was a wake up call. That's that pressure. That's them lunges, bro. There we go. You're setting up right. Just leave it there. That's great. Ah. We had that part of the workout where you just be staring aimlessly. You ain't even looking at shit. You're just in your head with thoughts. Okay. 12. Yep. It's gonna take 30 seconds after that. And then we're gonna come over here. Hip swings. Underhand forward. Okay. Big, big hip extension. Okay. Fire your hips through a lot better than I do. So as I'm finishing these kettlebells, did those, they were smooth. Kettlebell the swings, man. The wall, and I ain't gonna lie to that, I was just kind of confused. I thought it was just reach between your legs and throw it. It was even one point where I hit the roof. Oh. All right, get it out, all right? <laughs> you gotta let the knees fall here, get to that position, and you're still like, oh, all right. One of the things that I'm always looking to see is like, uh, is the athlete coachable? What can they do? And sometimes when we're, we're dealing with complex changes, try and fix them. You give them instructions to do one thing and you know, they can screw up everything else, but if they're working on the one thing you're changing, you know, they're listening, they're dialing in. So we had a lot of that going on. That was great. He's surprisingly explosive. He's got good little pop to him, which is great. He struggles a little bit when load gets a little bit higher. Struggle may not be the wrong word, but he's just not as good when he has to get into positions that he's not comfortable being in, largely because of a mobility issue. So day one, we started with a lot of mobility on the ankles. Left, it's looking like. Right. Almost broke my toe. <laughs> toe mobility is important too. Where the ankles is terrible. There you go. Kind of hurts my big yep, toe. So you're gonna lift and they get them right. Press ball where we got them pop. <clears throat> Let's not crackle and pop in there. It looks like, oh, you just doing this, doing that. No, bro. They putting you through it. Amy makes it look easy because she does it all day, every day, and she's been doing it for years. But this non-flexible old man, I felt it. Day one went really well. I'm proud of the whole team coming together and Dee's work and excitability towards being here and being locked in. After day one, I'm excited. I know the workout was tough. Y'all see me struggling. But towards the end, I was like, man, is this it? That's that's all? One thing I got to realize that this is a journey. It's not a sprint, it's a marathon. And we got to take it one day at a time. I can't emphasize enough how, especially over the first few weeks of someone starting to go through the training program, every day is an assessment. I'm interested in making ends opposed to making friends. Double bags. I've been paranoid at the sex. I'm taking a check. Finishing his trace. That grind. That's that grind. Told me that I go on stage and tan. Show is going to be brolic after this. One day, as a bucket list item, I'm going to compete in a bodybuilding competition. I'm going to be doing this. So I like to use the analogy that your body is a Lamborghini. Whenever it runs out of gas, you pull up to the gas station. You either gonna put the 87 gas in it, you either gonna put the 89 gas in it, or you gonna put the 90 in it. 
car needs the best and ultimate gas to power itself. All that work you put in does not matter if you f around and go kill McDonald's after your workout or something unhealthy and terrible for your body. You're erasing a lot of that progress. That is true. Ain't no point of, ain't no point of working out after you work out. You go straight to McDonald's or you go straight to Taco Bell. Man, go eat something healthy and stop eating that BS, bro. Simple. Stop. It's this awesome spot that I like called Chop Shop, and I actually talked to Ian, and he recommends it. Um, I'm gonna do the spicy Korean steak bowl. Uh, I got a good healthy bowl, some sweet potatoes, some steaks, some veggies in it, and um, we fuel in this Lamborghini Urus, my boy. So as I'm sitting here eating my food, uh, Ooh, I just Tesla to nice? with Bill. He's one of my um, homies from the XFL. I worked with him a lot last year. We did some content with the XFL. They kind of offered me to play, but I don't think I was ready at the time. Mentally, physically, none of that. I decided to call Bill and just check in with him. Um, I haven't talked to him in a while. And the last time I spoke to him, he said, hey, man, we got a spot for you. Hello? Bill, my man, what's good? What's up, brother? How are you, man? Doing amazing, doing amazing. Just been working, man. How about yourself? I I've been watching you all over the place, man. Yeah, Down here you go. Jacksonville in the pool. Yeah. Kicking those field goals, brother. Yeah. You're, uh, it it's incredible, bro. You're killing it. I Love appreciate watching it. You, man. I appreciate it. Man, I'm, of course, of course. I, I was just calling you to kind of get an update because obviously I'm excited to play. I'm preparing. And I know we kind of spoke yep. in the past uh, that. Yep. Your boy might have a roster spot, so I was just calling to get an update and see when's the season starting and different things like that. Yeah, I know. I, I think, look, it, it's not as easy as we once thought it was going to be, right? It's never easy. That doubt starts creeping back into your mind. Are you good enough? Are you good enough to play professionally? Are you good enough to live out your dreams? Because of this merger, there are other people involved, right? There are other, other teams involved. There's other uh, executives involved. I know, I'm just kind of thinking about all my choices now and thinking about what I want to do moving forward. And what do you think is going to be his biggest obstacle in the way of him making it to the NFL? Politics. <laughs> hey, hella politics in that. A lot of politics in NFL, bro. That's all it is, bro. Yeah, it's not a walk up that's Peter Stick Curry. It's the opposite. At the end of the day, you have two choices. You can sit there and mope and be upset, or you can use that as fuel, as motivation, to just take things back to the basics, take a couple steps back, take a deep breath, focus, and just swing. As you hit the post, then you realize. what it takes oh yeah get to the lead destroy get to the lead destroy you'll get there bro you'll get